Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This time I will take a deeper look at Daryl Macon. I already mentioned him in my 7 guards to watch in Basketball Champions League article in the beginning of the season, so if you haven't read it yet, I will link the article in the description and you can check it out. He is one of the best scorers in the competition and was putting on some great numbers in Galatasaray in the first half of the season in the Turkish league and now continues with his great scoring performances in Greece with Taik. In offense, he is obviously a great scorer on all levels, be it from distance or closer to the rim. He is a good spot up and off the dribble shooter, can be the go-to guy in offense and take the ball in his hands when the game is on the line. Not a playmaker, but can dish some passes to open teammates. Let's start with his shooting. Shooting is probably his main strength and it can translate to any level. Doesn't need much space, but with his handles and good footwork he can create some separation. His release is pretty smooth and very precise and most of his shots are going in without even touching the rim. Also unpredictable and can make shots from basically everywhere, from long range, mid range of the dribble shots or getting to the rim for the layup. This season he is very good from lead range where he's hitting more than 60% of his shots at the moment. Likes to have the ball in his hands and be the initiator. There weren't many possessions where he was running around screens to get some advantage and attack on the go. When the clock is running out and his team needs points, he's usually the guy taking the ball in his hands and making something happen. I think Jordan Lloyd from Red Star is a good comparison for Macon if we look at his playing style. Even though I will put him more in the shooting bucket, he has the ability to go by defenders and to the rim. With his handles and good ball control, he gets some advantage and throws the defense out of balance. Not the most explosive or an elite athlete, but has a good feel how to beat the defense. Makes good reads on pick and rolls and can split the defense if you leave him too much space. Doesn't have the best size for a shooting guard and can struggle around the rim against better rim protectors but showing some good decision making and doesn't go for the hard contested layups but dishes assist to open big men. Would not say that he can run the point guard duties all game but capable of dishing some assist. He is such a dangerous scorer and the defense gravitates towards him and when he draws all the attention from the defense, he can pass the ball to an open teammate. Good in the drive and dish game, where he dishes assists to the big man who is usually unguarded under the rim. Because of his scoring abilities, he is a little underrated as a passer, but he is showing some good court vision and passing touch. Usually, such good offensive players are not the best on the other side of the floor and Macon is no exception. Not the best defender, lacks aggressiveness most of the time and with his lack of size he can be targeted in post-ups if he switches in defense. In some moments it looks like he has no interest in playing in defense, lacks energy and aggressiveness and leaves too much freedom and space to the offensive player to do whatever he wants. Rarely seen in the defensive stance and mostly playing defense on almost straight legs. His pick and roll defense is not on the highest level either. He maneuvers pretty bad around the screens and leaves too much space to offensive players. If he sees that he's beaten and cannot recover, the team usually switches but because of his lack of size, he isn't a big obstacle on low post and most bigs can take advantage of that. It is usually the best choice to hide him in defense and let him defend players that don't have any big role in offense, but at the end of the day, when you add up his output in offense with his bad defense, you still get a player that can do more damage in offense than harm in defense.
And this is it for this time. If you liked the video, smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you miss any previous reports, there's a playlist on the screen now and you can check them out. See you in the next video.